Morning, guys. So, uh, yeah, uh, I thought I'd film a quick one today. Um, obviously, not been getting to the gym at the moment because I'm trying to sort out my housing, which means obviously I'm about to be homeless, sleeping in the park again, which pretty much it appears was my ex's idea from the start to ruin my life. Pull things apart, tell lies, get involved with drugs, uh, abuse our children, blame me, say I had mental health despite giving me a bit of paperwork to prove I didn't have mental health, which just shows how ridiculous and in need of mental health she is. Um, I have spoken with everyone, like I've said, from even social service myself, who say she's full of toxic environment. People around her are just nasty, malicious, evil people, pulling her into drugs, getting her to abuse our children, um, you know, herself having former members of her family working for various positions who deal with communications and the internet in the world. It's interesting, isn't it? Um, and yet she herself got involved in malicious use of Facebook and our wedding photos, which is an absolute disgrace over a, a, you know, a social media platform. You know, our wedding photos with things plastered all over, you know, and then proving if she herself is out, God knows what time, abusing our kids and ignoring them like she was before, you know. You know, uh, literally, despite our children knowing she was going to a drug party, she still went. So that shows really the sort of person she'd become, which is a shame because I still love the woman more than I ever have. But there we go. Uh, I've already proven the evidence of the hacking, which apparently wasn't real. I proved the evidence of the phone hacking, which apparently wasn't real. Etc. There's nothing but evidence, so um, I pass it on to everyone that's required. And there's a lot more here. Where I am, I've got people who you know literally refer to me as a legend, which is a little bit ridiculous, but something to do with my training, etc. With the rest of it, I've got people here who want me to work with them. Uh, I've had that across the country, uh, but I've not been allowed to. I've not been allowed to have a life, which is obviously Sarah Jane's plan from the start, which is why she committed so many acts of contempt and criminal offences. It's unbelievable. Uh, they're all provable. There is no legal recourse. Um, I'm just waiting at the moment, you know, like I said, criminal solicitors. This won't go away. This needs to be dealt with because apparently I'm not allowed to have my life until it is. Because her little group of hacking friends and all the rest of it, which is exactly obviously what she's proved she was involved in with the malicious use of the Facebook page and the phones, etc. So what else can I say? I mean, the phone line was in her name, uh, which is what they used on my YouTube account to start with on my actual YouTube channel. You know, my recognised world trademark belonging to me, no one else. Uh, you know, and it's just the same thing all, all again. It's just, yet again, I'm not allowed to have a life, but she's allowed to get on with hers and do etc. with the rest of it. So um, it proves what a nasty piece of work she actually is, which is such a shame, because she was the nicest person in the world until the scumbags around. And I will say scumbags, I'll say in court and everywhere else, I'll make sure the country knows exactly what's happened, how our children have been abused, how she apparently was coerced and controlled by me, and that she controlled our finances for decades. Um, used my credit cards and then told me about it afterwards. I would have to ask for pocket money to burn and buy tobacco. Yes, it's true. Believe it or not, I do have the occasional rollie. What can I say? I do smoke here and there, yeah. You know, and things were used like, oh, tattoos, apparently, and mental health. Or um, the fact I take TRT, which everyone knows is anabolic steroids. You know, legitimately, for a legitimate reason. I think you'll find it's now becoming a part and parcel in this country. But once again, Sarah Jane's little friends apparently can put whatever they want in court statements, lie, use whatever they want. Uh, be involved with drugs around children, etc. But that's acceptable. But when someone shines a light on things that are happening to, you know, my own family and my own children, etc., that's not allowed. That's mental health. Well, no, it isn't mental health. It's me proving I actually do have a level of skill that none of you know about for obvious fucking reasons. Because I sign bits of paperwork and say I wouldn't discuss it, which I've breached a number of times, including to the Guardian, which will put me in a lot of trouble. But it's worth it if the truth comes out. You see, that's what they call selfless. Unlike certain people's selfish attitude, which obviously got worse and was encouraged by a toxic environment around her. Not my words, adult social services. Along with human rights breaches by child social services. Of my own, in my own home. My own home, my own lead tenancy, my medical move tenancy awarded to me that I added Sarah Jane to and suddenly her and her friends saw fit to cheat me out of my own home. Interesting, that, isn't it? There's the caring woman I married, who's now been maliciously twisted to be a nasty... Child abusing drug taker. Well, there you go. Anyway, I'll uh, yeah, I'll continue to post. I'm going to try and get in the gym. It'll be difficult, but obviously I'll be on the street. But I will still try and get to the gym. I have still got a gym membership I pay regularly. But all these things aren't taken into account because I'm a homeless man who has his rights ignored in this country. Equality Act 2010, yada, yada, yada. But that's allowed to happen because women are always right and are the only ones coerced other than the actual... National statistics have been proven that 60% of men in this country have been coerced by the women who have accused them of that. Interesting, isn't it? 
I wonder what else will come to light about certain people, their backgrounds, their families, etc. The rest of it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not above reproach, but I also have no criminal record, no mental health issues, and a stack of evidence that apparently Jedi's say isn't there. See you soon, people.